Hey guys, this is Little Red 604 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, mod Minecraft on the Xbox 360. Now this isn't the mods you're thinking about, like um, mod like getting uh, mods that add new content to the game. This is different. This is like uh, modding the whole world and uh, modding the MBT files and yeah, getting all that stuff. Now, uh, you could use this for Xbox One, uh, however, you'll need an Xbox 360 to do it, and then you could just transfer the save from 360 to Xbox One. I've yet to try this, so I'd have to wait till next week to actually try it, but, um, yeah, uh, it works for Xbox 360, the last title update for Minecraft, Xbox 360, which is sad. Uh, rest in peace, Minecraft Xbox 360 edition, I used to play it a lot, it's sad that it's going now. Uh, think about in a few more years, Xbox One Edition will be dead, and you'll have like Xbox 720 or Xbox uh, Xbox uh, Plasma or something, just a cool name for it or something. Anyway, things you'll need for th the things you'll need are a USB, an Xbox 360 with Minecraft on it, obviously, a computer with internet, and uh, Universal Minecraft editor. Links in the description if I remember. The heck? Wow, well, scary! I just saw a page, like paper. I just saw paper. I saw a piece of paper just fly out of my door. It's like someone just tossed a bit of paper out. Hello, whoever's in my room. Um. Anyway, so let's get started. So I'm gonna quickly head over to the computer now, and uh, yeah, I will meet you there. All right. So here I am in my room with my Xbox and. That light, that light's a bit bright. Hold on. Hey Google, set my bedroom bright brightness to 50%. I stuffed that up a lot. Got it. Setting the bedroom light brightness to 50%. Yeah, I got an LED light for my birthday, so wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's a tiny bit dimmer, which is good for lighting. See, this, this is helping my uh, YouTube videos be better. It's not too bright. But then again, people will... And again, it could be dark too. Anyway, enough yapping, let's get to this. So, we're gonna turn it on. Hey. Then we're gonna turn on the Xbox. You can hold start, by the way. Uh, instead of the Windows button. No one told me that. Wow! Whoa! I'm sorry for that cantorous voice. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly sign in to uh just sign into my account real quick. So you wanna go in? Alright, so you wanna head over to your game. Alright guys, it seems like I've forgotten something very important. Um we forgot to actually move the file, so I'm just going to do this now. This is me in the future. If you look at the clock on my computer, you'll see it's night time. Now it's daytime, but it's cloudy. Hopefully, we get storms. Anyway, we're gonna head over to settings. Uh, once you've done it, if you're making a new world, just uh, set your uh, storage device to USB. Then you won't have to do this step. That's if you're making a new one. If you already have one, you'll go to system. Storage, uh, your hard drive, uh, games and apps, all the way, all the way down. Oh, sorry, up for me, all the way up to Minecraft, and you'd move. Um, uh, this is a uh, city that my sister made. I just named it Azara because it sounded like a weird city name. I'm not going to be modding this one. I'm just using it as an example. I'm going to be modding my mod world. Which I've already done, and it's pretty cool, just saying. Anyway, you'd move, you'd go A, you'd go move, and then you'd go to USB. Probably wouldn't work for me though, because it's uh, my sister's. Oh wait, I think I can move it, just not copy it, but you can use Horizon to make it so it's yours. Uh, we're talking about other stuff now. Well, probably, I might do a video on it, who knows. But yeah, once you've done that, uh, yeah, you're all good. Uh, back to you, Ben. Okay guys, I'm back. So, I'm on the computer now. Um, so I've just plugged in my USB. 
we're now gonna uh, hold on be right back okay guys I'm back so I just opened up the universal minecraft editor uh, make sure to get that I uh, want you've opened it up oh wait yeah so once you open it up you want to make sure you got your uh, 360 file on your USB uh, yeah make sure you move it in and uh, go 360 and as you can see it scans your file for 360 worlds I got mine right here we're just gonna open that now this is different than most MBT editors it's just much it's actually made for Minecraft and it's much more simple to use so if I go to uh, world settings you can see we've got all the MBT files for it like we have where the stronghold is I think uh, you got the portal location X and Z because why doesn't matter you can just keep on digging down and you'll find it anyway you got the spawn point X one Z uh, you've got whether you've been in creative, the difficulty, I think I'm on peaceful, I think there's four, peaceful, easy, medium, and hard. You've got dimension daughters. So it says the dragon's been killed and it's been previously killed. I haven't killed it, but alright. Or maybe it's like, haven't, one means you haven't killed it. Or maybe it's because I haven't been in there before. Anyway. Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff in there, but what if you want to change your uh, inventory? Or if you go to players and then click uh, your name, you have a whole lot more new stuff. So basically, I can head to inventory. As you can see, we have the wheat crops, the wheat seeds, and the map. Uh, we're going to keep the map just so I have it. Uh, but there's this really cool thing in here called quick mods. So if you're really... You can learn how to be really quick in this. And uh, this dude actually modded his save. Like he modded a villager nearby him to give him uh, uh, free trades. Which is what I'm going to be showing you. And he also did uh, something else which is cool. Uh, yeah, he modded his inventory which I'm going to be showing you now. So you can right click it. And right here you've got the quick mods. So you can enchant easily. You can change the display name. And you can change your item. So if I go here and search up diamond sword diamond sword sword click ok we now have diamond sword if we right click go to enchant and go wherever sword is I mean pff, wherever sword is uh, wherever oh yeah you can use knock back and just knock them back a whole lot you can go sharpness, you can click max, and now kill any enemy in one hit, I think. Maybe even ender dragon, I'm not sure yet. So if you want to get to the end city and get all the achievements without even having to... Well, I mean, you will have to lift a finger, but... Instead of having to do that much work, you can just easily do this. But, uh, yeah, we've got that. If you want, you can even change the explain name. I can go, like, Excalibur. Something, uh, something normal. If I right click here, we can go change item and change this to like a pickaxe. Now, there's one thing about the pickaxe you need to know about. By the way, the count things just there. There's one thing you need to know about the pickaxe. Uh, you do not want to change your fortune to the max amount. Because that will lag and or crash your game. Because it's spawning like 1 million uh, types of, I mean not types of ore, but it's spawning 1 million ores. And it's just going to crash your game. So I recommend not doing that. I recommend just sticking to like Fortune 5 or something. Or 10. Just something that's not going to lag your computer a whole lot. Or Xbox or whatever you're using. Yeah, you can actually use Wii U on here which is pretty cool. So if I go and chat, we can go uh, Efficiency. You can have Efficiency to max. That's that's fine. You can enchant it again. And uh Give it unbreaking, but you can go right here and change that to unbreakable. But I just do not, under any circumstances, to save your thing from corruption slash crashing, just don't put your fortune up to a whole lot. Switch to like five or something. By the way, if you do use the max uh, entries, when you go back into the game, it will say you have like uh, efficiency one, although you actually have efficiency three, two, seven, six, seven, which is the max it can do. By the way, you'll see that we've got little slots. So say I want two diamond pickaxes, which I'll quickly name the breaker, because that's also cliche. 
Uh, how you can paste. Don't c do control V yet. You want to click on inventory and then do it. And it pasted cobblestone. Hold on, what's, what's that doing there? What? Hold on, let's try again. I think I clicked on the wrong thing without knowing. As you can see, it's they're both red because the slots are in the same position, which means it's just going to cancel each other out. If you switch this to like 5 or something, I don't know what ones that, that's in. That's in 10. So that's like in the, in the, um, what's his name? In the, I think that means it's in the, um, inventory. So, yeah. Anyway, now that we've changed that, we'll get two pickaxes. And I'll quickly make this unbreakable. Now, time to move on to the villager, um, the villager mob. Sorry for this being so long that it's used to. I'm really bad at explaining tutorials, although here I am. Um... I promise you, I'm not trying to do this for money. I don't even have an AdSense account or anything set up. Uh, so, yeah, you know, just... I... Never mind, let's just get back. So, uh, you can actually mod villages and other mobs. Uh, villages are the best because you can make them... Well, you can't make them give you free trades. However, you can... Oh, as you can see, this is the chunk locator. So, you can see everything in the map. See, there's a village. But, uh, basically... Uh, you can change villagers so they can give you, like, like you can give them one bit of dirt for tons of diamonds. So basically, in order to do that, you just click this little diamond on the top right here. Then go to search and chunks. Uh, go to select an entity. Go down to the bottom. Go to villager. Click search. A little search nearby chunks. As you can see, you've got quite a few villagers. Uh... I don't know which one's mine though. I guess you could just change all of them. Um, let's just. Hmm. I think there's only one. That's a zombie. I think it was this one. Who knows? I could check, but then I'd have to plug out USB, and obviously that would corrupt everything. So I'm not doing that. I feel like it was that one. Could be that one. Who knows? We're just gonna wait. Why am I searching it again? It was this one, wasn't it? You can double click the villager, and nothing's happening. Hold on. Am I doing this right? Oh, uh, apparently it's not working, but uh, hold on. Maybe you drag it in. Oh, 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 never mind. It's working. Oh, never mind, it was working all along. If you go to enter these, you can see there's dropped items. Torches were dropped. How many, though? One torch. One torch. Why would one torch be dropped? Eh. Uh, but here we have the villager. If we go to offers and then recipes, you can see he's got four. So here we're selling... Oh, no, he's buying three wheat crops. Oh, no. He's buying 19 wheat crops... Crops for one emerald. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a rip off. We could change that. We can go change item dirt. Now, I might not actually be able to check this because I don't know which villager it was. But it actually works. I've tried it before. If it doesn't, then uh, let me know and I'll see if I can fix the problem. I'm not exactly a master at this kind of stuff, so I might not be able to help you. But uh, I'll try my best. But uh, I can go here. Dime, I could type in diamond and we could switch this to like 127 and boom we have one bit of dirt for tons of diamonds and it only has seven max uses so you can just go 9999 just to use it forever and you can do the same with this i think oh no you can only do 127 and there you have the uses that you've already used so just to find out here's a good idea i didn't think of just to find out which i uh, villager you are looking for uh do at least one trade with them so you can find out which it is which one it is because then it would say one right there anyway i believe we're done we've modded the yeah we've done that we've done the uh villager i think although i don't think it's the right one too close 
Eh, we did alright. Anyway, once you're done, you want to click this little floppy disk, which will save the world. Like that. As you can see, it's all good. Once it's done, close it. Head over here. Right click this, go eject. Alright, so we're going to move back to the uh, Xbox now. And uh, yeah. Well, I just showed you this. I'm not supposed to, uh, I didn't mean to, but uh, yeah. I need to check to see if this is laggy at all. It doesn't seem laggy. It seems alright, which is nice. Don't want it to be laggy anyway. If it is laggy, then you'll never see this video. If it isn't, then you'll see this video. Anyway, back to the beat. Back to the Xbox, we're wasting enough time already. Okay guys, I'm back. So as you can see, there's my Xbox. I've got my USB here. Just gonna... Put it in. Yeah, sorry for the messy uh, room and stuff. Oh yeah, I got that for Christmas. It's Raspberry Pi Model 3B+. Anyway, I gotta be quick, because I gotta go to bed. But... Uh, <laughs> Are you kidding me? Who, who needs sleep? Who needs sleep mode? Anyway, uh, you wanna go reload your USB storage device? Your mod, my mod world's here, we're gonna go open that. Gonna wait for that, and drum roll please! Okay, no drum roll, but there we go, as you can see it's worked. Uh, like I said before, um, oh whoops. So here it is, right there. So as you can see, it says Excalibur. Sharpness 1, although you can see, remember what I said before, it might say Sharpness 1, but it's got the, behind it, it's actually got the huge sharpness number. And you can see right below it though, 16,391 attack damage, unbreakable. And you can see there, you got the breaker, although it's unbreakable. Uh, as you can see, it says Efficiency 1, although it's Obviously, a bigger efficiency, like I just said, but it's Fortune 5. That works because it's such a lower number. It can actually do that. And we got the second version of the breaker. As you can see, we got the cobblestone. It says 64 plus. You might not be able to see that. Right there. 64 plus, which is weird. I've never seen that before, but uh, yeah. Now, let's see if the villager was the right villager. I really doubt it was. Now, where is the villager? Did, did the villager die? No one in there. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, after a quick investigation, I can confirm that he's either one despawned, two dead, or three hidden. I I don't know what happened there, but uh, he's gone now, which is sad. But uh, maybe it despawns when you try. Yeah. Anyway, let me show you that this really does kill pigs and other animals in one hit if I can oh whoops you didn't see that properly but let me just try to run with one hand okay uh you there we go let's try something with more hearts like a horse or a llama I just can see on the far left now off screen. Alright. There we go, one hit. So uh, that's the end of this video. I need to end it soon because of bedtime. I mean, it's 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 like 11 o'clock, isn't it? 10.30, there you go. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I liked how it came out. Uh, I, just watched, I just watched a clip of uh, me getting to the computer. Instead of like 10 FPS, it's actually a decent FPS. So this will actually be a video, which is nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. I'll hopefully be able to answer some. Not all of them, because I'm not a uh, wizard at that type of stuff. But I know a bit. Just a tiny bit long. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. By the way, request me anything you want next. Okay, bye guys.